Can you press that? Can you ask the question? <laughs> Because of the social uh, role that in many societies uh, we have and is very linked to water. So if we are not taking into account our interests and our needs will not be included in the decisions. We can see uh, later on an effect in how these decisions are made at the governmental level or at the program level could have a great impact on, on their livelihoods in women but also girls. Where I grew up in very urban areas uh, in, in Zambia, women play a very crucial role in the management and safeguarding of water resources at a uh, domestic level as well as at a community level. And this has been recognized. That's how we grew up. We saw our mothers, our sisters are uh, doing this. So really across the world, women and girls bear the brunt of collecting water often from long distances, and it's often in harsh conditions. And in most cases, women are excluded or not invited to the meeting rooms where important water allocations are being discussed. What we need to remember is that by including women, we will increase the possibility to achieve sustainable solutions and an equitable future for all of us. When they include women in decisions about water, los resultados son más inclusivos, democráticos y sostenibles. Es importante reconocer que los impactos del cambio climático no son los mismos para todos. Las mujeres, adolescentes y niñas están más expuestas y son más vulnerables a los impactos del cambio climático. Incluirlas en la toma de decisiones contribuye a una mejor gestión y gobernanza del agua y prestación y acceso a los servicios básicos de agua y saneamiento. <risa> We consulted the ladies of the community on the blueprint of those sanitation facilities and we found out that we had to redesign them because they were not enough, they were not big enough to accommodate two ladies because it was a cultural uh, habit on that community that ladies who were in the last days of their pregnancy would be uh, washing themselves with their own moms or a close relatives. They would not be by themselves because of security reasons. So if we had not consulted them, we would have built something that would not be used. In our engagements, uh, the women advocated for the boreholes that were going to be the source of water to be uh, to be drilled near their uh, community gardens because they were experiencing water challenges due to droughts, uh, climate change, and so forth. So that's what we did. We took their views on board. We drilled the boreholes, we reticulated up to their uh, community gardens. And as a result, uh, the, the community was able to grow food crops, able to harvest them and sell them and make profits. And in so doing, they were able to ensure food security for their households. So we saw that women really pre played a very crucial role in determining food security uh, for, for, for their community as well as water security. Por ejemplo, creo que la gestión y movilización liderada por los jóvenes en la intersección entre la gobernanza del agua y el cambio climático es un gran ejemplo de inclusión exitosa y trabajo en conjunto entre diferentes grupos y gente. En Bolivia, usually water meters are inside the home. And this actually could create an environment for women to feel unsafe because usually it is men who are making these readings, so they have to enter homes and they're could be or there has been in the past um, sexual harassment, for example. So if women were not included in these conversations, if this specialist wouldn't have raised this issue, we wouldn't have had as an action point in our plan. Yeah. <laughs>